Hello everybody and welcome, Melissa here at TCT Crafts. I am so happy to have you guys here today. So I was asked this week um, to make a white winter wreath. And so I had two ideas for a white winter wreath. I immediately thought of grapevine with some pretty magnolias, um, but then I also thought about let's do a flocked uh, wreath um, with our pine because um, not everybody likes to do grapevines. So we're going to do two. So today we're going to work on this one. Come back next week um, on Wednesday and we will do the grapevine. So I will have a white winter grapevine and then a white winter pine wreath. Okay, so we're going to do the pine today. Now what we are going to be using is this. Um, this is a large wreath that I had gotten from Michael's. Let me see, I want to say it's like a 30, I want to say it's like a 30 inch. Yeah, it's probably got to be a 30 inch. My ruler only goes to 24. I'm pretty sure it's a 30 inch and it is a flocked. So it is doing a lot of the work for us um, as far as getting it white, okay? But let me show you. You can see this wreath has very large gaps in between the frame. So you can see that our frame, you can stick your hand right through there. Well, that's not gonna help us when we're trying to stick greenery into this wreath. So what we're going to do, do a little trick here, is I'm gonna get a garland. So it doesn't have to be an expensive garland. I just had one, wrapped one that was in my stock, uh, in my stash. And we're just gonna get this garland added all the way around, okay? So what I'm going to do is take a couple of zip ties. We're just gonna zip tie this garland in the center. So I will do a couple with you guys and then I'll finish it off and then we'll come back. Okay, so I'm just gonna zip tie this. We're just going all the way around in the center and then we'll go back and we'll fluff and blend our branches together here in just a second. Okay, so I'm gonna get another zip tie. Okay, so I have gone all the way around with my garland. I still have, I did not use the whole garland. I still have, you know, quite a bit left. So I can use this for another one. Um, of course, this is a large one, okay, a large tree. Um, you can pick up a smaller 24 inch flocked. I know Walmart usually every year has their 24 inch flocked wreaths, I think for like 10 bucks. Um, just grab you one of those. It doesn't have to be super expensive because we're going to be adding other greeneries to it. Um, obviously, if you have a nicer, fuller one, you don't have to add as much product to it. Um, this one was pretty good as far as the... It's got a nice, a lot of nice, big, fluffy, white, flocked branches. It just, we had that problem with the center, okay? So we fixed the center. So now we have our wreath base and we are ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to add some more greenery. So I'm going in with our flocked cypress. I've just cut them into little pieces and put some picks on them. Um, you don't have to use the picks if you don't want to. You could just glue them in there. But I'm just going to start going through and adding some of this cypress all the way around. So I'm going to do a couple pieces with you. And then we will speed this part up because you do not need to sit there and watch me add cypress all the way around the wreath. I'm just going in a circular motion right there, kind of uh, focused in the center where we added um, that garland. And then I'll hit it on the outside and the inside a little bit after we get these out. Okay, so I have gone all the way around with my cypress. I went around the center. I added a few pieces here towards the, um, 
well, the center, I said center, in the middle, I went around the middle, filled in our garland, I went around and put some in our center, and then I went around kind of on the outside. So I've gone all the way around, I've used about two and a half um, of our cypress bushes. I still have um, another little bit that we can add later if we need to, but we're gonna go in with another greenery. So we'll save that and we'll just use that as filler. So the next thing we're gonna be using is our snowy mint um, bush. So I have cut up four of these. Um, and so we're just gonna go around and I am going to just cut the stems down. And we're just gonna start adding these here and there all the way around. Okay, so I'm gonna do a few with you guys. And then um, I'll fast forward this part and then we'll come back. So I'm just adding my glue. I'm not putting pick on these. And, you know, spacing it out a little bit. The spacing on that is about, about eight inches. So it really doesn't matter. We're just going to fill in. I'm going to go around the center and then I'm going to fill in on the outside and the inside just like I did with our cypress. Okay, let me do like one more piece with you guys and then we will be back to finish it out with our magnolias and a little pick that we brought in and then just fill in some some of our holes okay so i'm going to finish with our snowy pine and then i will be back okay i did want to show you this part on our um snowy mint bush so when i'm going towards the bottom so here in the middle you know we went about eight inches what i'm doing then on the bottom is in between that eight inches down i'm adding a piece in the center so it's like a triangle pattern okay so i did want to show you that um, as far as the spacing goes on where i'm putting the ones uh, towards the bottom so again we've got two so right in the middle is where i'm adding that one all right i have gone all the way around um, I still have several pieces, well, probably about six pieces left of the snowy, um, the snowy mint bush that we can use for filler, but I've gone all the way around and it is already looking beautiful. You could just stop, if you didn't want to add florals to this design, you could just do a, a pine, um, a pine wreath with some of our snowy mint bushes. You could maybe just put in a few little ornament clusters. You could do um, clusters of, you could do clusters of pine cones in here and just leave it like this. It's beautiful already. But we're gonna add some of our, um, our snowy magnolias to this design. Okay, so I have some of our, some of our magnolias, they're just beautiful so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna take the leaves off we're gonna get those added back after we get our magnolia in i'm gonna cut this down pretty short because we want these kind of you know hugging our, our wreath so to speak and i brought in i think i brought in five um, we might use another one if we need to, but we'll start with five. Okay, so I'm just going to place that right there. Once we get that one placed, we'll space out our other ones before we glue them. But that was a nice little, a nice little hole there. We're going to save our leaves because we're going to add these back here in a minute. I want to just space these out first before we glue. All 
Okay, I think I pretty much like the, the placement on these. So I'm going to go ahead and give our stem a nice amount of glue. You can wire these in if you would like. I'm just going to glue them. All right, that is beautiful. The next thing I brought in were these little picks. Um, I got these from Hobby Lobby. You guys can see them. Uh, they were $1.99 and I got them 50% off. So I'll have the SKU listed for you in the description of the video. All the supplies will be listed. So I thought we could add a few of these. Now this is optional. Um, you don't have to add these. It's beautiful just with the magnolia, but I thought we could kind of go in between. Let me see if I have enough before we do this. Because I don't even know how many I have. So my thought was we could kind of go in between the magnolias, but I think I'm going to need six of them. And I think I only have, we may have just enough. I see one hiding over there. Oh, y'all, look at that. We have just enough. Okay, so we're going to go in between the magnolias. I'm going to go in with these picks. I'm going to get these all glued in. We'll be right back. Okay, so now let's get our magnolia leaves added. So I'm going to put these on a pick. If you don't have a pick machine, you can just glue them and stick them down in there. It's just going to be a little easier sometimes with the pick to get them where you want them. I'm just going to add some leaves around our magnolia. Now for this design, from this one, I'm not adding ribbon. I'm not adding a bow. Um, you know, you do you. You could definitely get some white velvet, maybe a white and silver, and, um, and add a bow to this. But since I'm trying to do more of a white winter, something that can stay up, you know, even after the holidays, then I decided to keep it without the bow, no ribbon. Okay, so let me get this one glued in really good and I'll show you. Okay, so I just went around the magnolia and I added those leaves back. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I'm gonna go add all of our leaves back on all of our magnolias. magnolias. And then we're just going to finish up with just filling in some of our holes and I think we're going to be done. Okay, so I have gone um, all the way around and put the leaves back on my um, magnolias. I think I'm going to go in with a couple of pine cones. And this is completely optional. But since we're kind of doing a winter wreath, I thought pine cones would be a nice little touch. I'm just going to glue these in. I'm not going to put them on a pick. They're going to tuck nicely in there with some glue. If you want to put them on a pick, you definitely can. Okay, y'all, we have finished our white winter pine wreath. It is quite large and I think it turned out beautifully. Um, again, we're gonna do another white winter, but we're gonna do a grapevine design um, on Wednesday. So you guys come back next week and uh, all of these supplies will be listed down in the description of the video. So you guys could check them out there. And if you are newer to our, new to our channel, we would love to have you subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. You'll be notified every time we have new tutorials. Um, we'd love to do seasonal decor, wreaths, arrangements, all the things. So we would love to have you. And if you're loving our designs and want just a few exclusive tutorials every month, we would love to have you over in our um, VIP membership group. Um, 
super inexpensive for less than a cup of coffee. You can get a couple of exclusive tutorials every month. So we would love to have you guys over there. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed until next time.